Hey guys, are you here? And today, I have some pretty awesome Rogue Mage uh, games for you guys. This was actually an off Skype session. We absolutely crushed um, doing some Rogue Mage. We actually got to like 2600 MMR and to about almost 2500 current rating as Rogue Mage 2s. I know in the last Rogue Mage video that I uploaded, a lot of people were saying, Are you? You're not the highest Rogue Mage, so clickbait title, la la, tra la 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 la. I don't know if they were trolling, if they were serious. Um, there are no higher rogue mage currently rated in North America. If you're talking about your Europe servers or EU, um, there are higher rated technically rogue mages, but you have to keep in mind since there's more players in the EU, more people you know play, which inflates rating. So rank one and two is on EU is about 3k rated. So of course there's going to be higher higher rated players on EU, but if you look at ranking, there are no higher ranked uh, rogue mages, so if you, you know, kind of look at rank and then kind of don't account for rating inflation because there's more players on EU, then yes. Yes, we are the highest rogue mage rate, rated in the world, but uh, I don't know. Regardless, in North America, if you if you want to if you want to be that way and you want to uh, account or don't want to account for inflation like that. So anyway, here are the highest ranked rogue mage twos in the world. Maybe maybe not rated, but uh, yeah, here we go. Hopping right into it. So we're queuing here. We're seriesing this monk uh, demon hunter. This is one of our final games. We actually beat them couple times and we lost a couple times and then we beat them a lot more times so this was one of the better games i thought one of the longer games i really like long games as rogue mage because it's just freaking awesome um because we don't have a healer so the longer we're living without a healer it's just i don't know it seems like more like less of a fluke and more of like a like an outplay which is just awesome in my opinion because we do have a lot of games as rogue mage um a lot of games where we just went in the opener right we just one shot the healer one shot the dps maybe cc a guy's trinket belt is trinket blind is trinket and then go from there and we actually just we can just win games in the opener but that doesn't take as much skill i think as like a you know five ten minute match of polymorphing running living cycling through enemy cooldowns living as rogue mage without a healer and uh, going from there so yeah this is pretty cool I'll throw a band-aid out onto my rogue and uh he's very low hp but he does get a restealth i actually hit the eye there so we can't see my rogue if you guys didn't know if demon hunters pop the you know they can uh, see through um invis if you just hit them it comes off so that's pretty awesome Every time the demon demon hunter hits me, I either want to kite him with uh, Kona Cold, Frost Nova. If I can't, I want to Temp Shield so I don't actually take any damage. If I can't, I then want to Ice Block or Blink, um, or have my Rogues on him. Something, right? I always want to do something to this demon hunter. Um, so my burst windows here, guys, are Orb with Comet Storm and Ice Nova, and Spam Ice Lands. That's one of my, one of my burst windows. My other burst window is Ebon Bolt into ice nova into ice lance or ebon bolt in ice lance if i don't have an ice nova um and and i kind of just cycle through those two styles of burst um back and forth so i'm getting pretty low here i am forced into my ice block because the metamorphosis my rogue does double cheap so i come out of the ice block blinking uh, grab that full sheep onto the healer do a good amount of burst there and that's the other burst i was talking about with that ebon bolt ice nova and then flurry and then ice lance or something like that um, I get very low, beautiful blind there onto the Demon Hunter. I think I, yeah, I probably would have died without that blind. Uh, like I said, guys, we're not in Skype. We are just playing, playing some no Skype games. Actually get an invis off, come down here and eat. Um, back to about full HP here, which is just wonderful because I do have another block as well. Orb coming up for the next burst. Monk has no trinket. Um game isn't looking too bad but my rogue steps to me demon hunter is chasing i kona cold and run away kona cold is like a 70 70 percent slow or something so it's incredibly slow uh, we smoke bomb here we had no cc on the monk i actually orb which was a bad orb because i couldn't cheap that monk out of that cheap shot uh, monk uses human trinket my rogue is just about dead i actually blocked this to try to get some cc here um, Demon Hunter Shadow Melts though, so I couldn't actually land that sheep. He tried, fails a little bit trying to get up that wall. I full sheep with my rogue can run away and eat or something like that. Resheep the Dispel. Going for one more sheep here. Gonna reapply or uh, reapply that slow onto him with that Frostbolt. 
I temp shield when he does get to me so I don't take actual real damage. I'll be healed back up to, you know, when I applied that temp shield. Pop my ice barrier, Kona cold, keep kiting, and we get a sap there onto the healer. A big ebb and bolt uh, flurry into an uh, re-sheep actually out of that sap because I need to continue the CC chain. Um, into a Comet Storm Ice Nova. Trying to finish him off with the Belf there. Uh, Belf I'm really low, but he does catch that uh, Monk Cocoon and it looks like he's going to be okay for now. Like I said, we do kill in bursts, so it's very, very difficult. Um, but dampening's in, so he's going to have a harder time topping him. So in between our goes, we're actually keeping this Demon Hunter a little bit low here. And then we get a full Sheep. Now we, we get another go when he's at about 50% health. And then it looks like he is going to go down. Um, Ice Nova, boom, there it is. So that was a pretty freaking awesome game. Um, I was very excited about that win. I mean, especially because, you know, Rogue Mage, very difficult to play in twos without a healer, obviously. And uh, here I am dancing a little bit to the music. I had some, I was just blasting music. We weren't in Skype or anything. Um, yeah, so definitely had a good, good old time queue in these games. Um, like I said, though, they did beat us a few times, but I'm going to put some of their wins in here because they were just freaking awesome. But we didn't beat these guys every single time, um, just to let you guys know. In, in case those guys are actually watching, they're like, no, we beat you guys too. You did, you did. But um, the games we lost were just, we usually just died it was pretty fast. Like it wasn't actually, yeah. Anyway, um, here are the, uh, here's the next game against them, Monk Demon Hunter. I think, I think at this point, uh, yeah, we were like 2450 or something, trying to push up to 2500. I think we ended at like 2480, something like that, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, sap the Demon Hunter, we get his uh, adoption, uh, we sap him again, um, trying to get a cheap shot there on the Monk, blink over, trinket the, the CC, get that full sheep, the Monk trinkets, but he is in that smoke bomb. I actually block here, Belf into a half sheep, so get a pretty aggressive opener, but we get pretty much every cooldown in the entire game. From them i popped temp shield trying to spell steal some of these hots i am going to be pretty much back to full hp after this um that i beam takes me out a little bit but i do have enveloping mists and renewing mists or whatever so i'm totally totally fine here uh, i'm just running away um because i'm kind of just waiting for this next setup my my rook might be able to actually get a sap there now he just goes with the blind i kind of blink towards the monk and then cast my damage so i'm in between the monk and the demon hunter uh, while i'm doing damage get a full sheep onto the healer demon hunter is getting very low here i do decide to block that uh little stun there we get a half sap um onto the healer i'm playing very aggressive this game um into a cheap shot he trinkets the cheap shot um i pop temp shield i cancel my temp i cs the monk in his cast and uh the demon hunter goes down so very aggressive gameplay there it paid off in that short run but yeah if i play like that all the time we would probably lose more often than not just because you know it was a very close kill and then if we if they if they live there i'm dead right because i don't have i don't have a, an extra block or anything but that was pretty sick counter spell pretty sick game there overall now let's hop into the next one here in a second here it is okay so now we're finding them on ruins and i think this might have been the last game of the night um yeah so generally, I'm kind of just staying back, waiting for him to pop his eye thing, and then I then I knock it out, hit him in combat, trying to get a frost bolt or two on him to keep him slowed, um, build up some icicles, build up some damage. Definitely not too bad here. Uh, Rogue's gonna run in, try to sap. He does get that sap. He's gonna cheap shot the monk, and I'm gonna follow that cheap shot with a full sheep. I use double blink to get in here, but that's totally fine. Pop Icy Veins and Evan Bolt Ice Nova. Huge amount of damage with a common storm to follow. Getting a half sheep here. I do have the Icy Veins, so I have that increased haste. Getting a quarter sheep. This guy's getting very low. I'm blinking away. Uh, Comet Storm into more Ice Lances. Trying to trying to kick the monk here. We actually get a very nice smoke bomb. Um, or actually, <laughs> I guess the, not the nicest smoke bomb, but very nice blind. And uh, Demon Hunter just goes down, and my Rogue actually crit for like a 400, 500k DFA there. So yeah, pretty awesome games there, guys. Um, highest ranked Rogue Mage in the world. Pretty much highest rated if you do count for inflation. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome games there. If you guys want to see more of this Rogue Mage ownage, let me know down below in the comments. Um, thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!